Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the monthly forecast for Capricorn for October 2017. Um, I Just before I start, I just want to say if anybody would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. The link is below. There's a booking schedule there. Um, this month, my availability is limited because I do have to go away for a week. So uh, it's with work. So it, it's, it's like I say, it's no pleasure. Um, but it is cutting down my availability and availability is already starting to fill up so if you do want to read and book sooner rather than later to avoid disappointment as well okay so right Capricorn just when I'm like I was tuning in to you before I started the reading um, I feel I feel be careful this month of people pulling your strings this is what they're showing me they're showing me like sort of puppets you know and it's like dance for me monkey boy sort of thing um, so be very careful because I feel that there could be somebody from the past because I feel there's there's a lot of worries in this but it's like they're showing me like like an egg timer like time is running out and i feel like haunted from ghosts of the past and stuff like that as well but there could be somebody from your past that is actually wanting to sort of you know pull your strings and make you do what they want you to in in some way you know and i don't even think that they're wanting to do this for a particular reason other than that they can't you know that's it it's just like all oh, right i'm bored i'm gonna play with them a bit you know so i do feel there's quite a lot of manipulation coming in a, a need for control um and i feel like i say these ghosts of the past seem to be haunting me and there seems to be a few unknowns around this or a bit bit of fear linked with this okay so like i say be careful of somebody wearing a mask okay this is what they're saying this month uh, capricorn um look beyond the mask okay look beyond what you are being told as well you know because something is i feel about to be revealed i feel you're on the defensive this month as well okay it's like you're 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 ready for a fight you're ready for something this is this is how i feel and i feel this has been keeping you stuck for some time so you're sort of like in a limbo but you're like you're sort of ready <laughs> this, this is this is what i'm seeing because i'm feeling the center of your uh your month seems to be based well well the basis of your month sorry rather than the center seems to be based on this these fear these unknowns a little bit deceit worry anxiousness you holding back but being ready to tackle whatever comes to you so i really feel that you're like you're picking something up or you know that something isn't right. So it's like you're waiting for waiting for the shit to hit the fan sort, sort of thing. And I feel like this could be affecting your home life or affecting you moving on in your home life as well. You know, it's like you're, you want to be certain, you want to be settled. And they're saying that there's, you know, it's like... I feel this could be affecting your happiness in some way as well. It's like you've got everything you want, but then it's like, oh, you know, I cannot rest on my laurels, so to speak. Um, what they're saying is communication. There's a lot of communication needed. I feel that there's there's things to be worked through, especially around family members or relationships as well, because I feel you looking at something and seeing like it's a mess. It's like, oh, this is a mess and maybe even blocking off a little bit from it. But what I want to say to you is all messes can be cleaned up there's no point crying over spilt milk you know it's gone it's it's like i say start to get on and i feel this month there will be this this wake up call where you do actually feel secure more secure so it's as we go into the month um they're showing me here the justice card and the sun next to it positive outcomes you know positive outcomes the truth prevailing the truth being um yeah where you were where you were unsure the truth actually coming out but this being the start of a very positive cycle where you can actually sort of breathe a sigh of relief where you can start to plan as well okay so it's the at the beginning of the month the past is going to be a problem to you okay the past or somebody from the past is going to be a problem to you as we get into the month um I don't feel this is, if, if that makes sense. Like I say, it's sort of like, um, I'm sort of seeing like the judges, is it a gavel being put down? There you go. And this is it, sorted. 
that's it end of story that's what i'm sort of seeing around here um and then i feel with this this is when you can trust your intuition now i want to say to some of you okay there could be a proposal coming for you okay there could be a proposal coming for you something it might be a little bit cryptic the way it comes out but i feel that there is cause for celebration this could be some of you could get engaged. Some of you could take things to the next level. Some of you could, you know, start planning a wedding. This could even be a quick one, like in the next six months or something like that. Because I feel that there's like this in the mid month, third week of the month, it's like there's this huge shift of positive energy comes into your life. There's messages, there's communication, there's, there's, um, like I say, there's a newness, there's a, you know, it's like you can breathe again and, and all exhilarating where you haven't been able to trust, you can now trust. Okay. Where your heart has been broken. It's like the waiting is over for this. The past is being put in the past and the, you are walking away from the past this, this month. Okay. You're walking away from this. Um, and I feel like it's like there's something going, it's blown. Something's going to be blown open. But they're saying to me there, this is going to make you feel safe. There's only sort of like a, like somebody blowing a safe open. Now, uh, yeah, what they show me? Yeah, somebody like, you know, when they used to blow safes open with dynamite and stuff like that and then get away with the goods. That's, that's sort of what I'm seeing here. But blowing this open. Right, I don't know what this has got to do with. It. I'm not very good on history and stuff like that. I don't, I don't watch the news, and I feel history is all in the past. So don't you don't uh, need to focus on that, which is probably not good. Don't tell your kids that. But if any of you know what happened in the Watergate scandal, I don't know what that was. Was something uncovered that somebody'd been doing something trickery or something? Because they're showing me Watergate there. You know, this, when I was talking about this, this bomb blown off or whatever, they were showing me Watergate. So I don't know what that was. Was this, I'm sure there was something uncovered, wasn't there? And was that when Nixon had to step down or something? It, it, it's something to do with that. If any of you know, please let me know because for some reason it's relevant within your reading. And this is going to free you, <laughs> okay? So, so I'm so sorry. I never know what they're going to give me, but that that was what came came through here as well. So, yeah, this is there. I feel like there is a. You know, this could be you. I feel this is you. It's like, yeah, you're finally going to start looking towards the future this month, Capricorn. Um, you're finally going to yeah. There's, oh, sorry, I'm holding my year there. There's. This is my left ear. There's something you're going to hear that is going to, like, emotionally free you, emotionally, like, emotionally please you. This is it. You're going to hear something. Now, like I say, I did mention there could be a proposal in there, so it could be, it could be that. But there is action coming, okay? There is action coming. Some of you could have problems with your chest this month as well. Um, be on the lookout for that. Maybe second, third week, there could be a bit of a chest infection that could like sort of uh, floor you for a couple of days. Um, but I feel like, I feel this has just all been this tension that's, that's like built up as well. Um, and like I say, I feel... Where you have been struggling, you are going to feel strong. There's something happening around your home life as well. Your home life is becoming a lot more secure. There's a decision to be made around this where you have been holding back. But I feel you're now in the position to actually put these changes there. I feel this is because the truth is, is coming out here. You know, I do feel there could be a couple of little... It's like sort of seeing where somebody fits here. There could be not power struggles, but like you know, a little bit of confusion around the, the home, but I feel that this is, I feel that this is fine, okay, I do feel this is, is fine, um, somebody, 
Right, okay. Within your relationships, I want to say to you, don't be stubborn, okay? Don't turn your back on somebody. And if you expect to be heard, make sure that you're listening to the other person as well. Because there's a little bit of you being a little bit... <laughs> I want to say a little bit stubborn here you know i uh, this has got to be balanced here like i say you've got to give out what you're expecting back as well okay there's no need to fight no need to fight here this is what it's talking about um like i say towards the end of the month i feel like you're being good money may be a little bit of a problem because i feel like some of you could be buying something now this could be a trip or something like that so it's like i say it's trying to balance that money but i feel that there will money will come from a different source if that makes sense i don't know what that is some of you may be loaning something you know you may even borrow money for a holiday that you know you're going to pay back after that you know so that is that is coming in but i really feel <laughs> this month is about not letting your ego take control okay there is security there but there's a little bit of a problem if you feel like, if you feel like something hasn't gone in your way, I want to say to you, don't then self-sabotage it, you know. Don't take it personally because this is where I see there being a problem. There is security for your future here. There is you being in control, okay. And I feel there is love, love, massive love for you. Some of you could actually be wanting to start a family or some of you could find out that you are starting a family as well. But what I want to say is this will be welcomed, okay. It's not nothing to worry about. It is welcomed. There is love coming for you and it's like I say... This is shutting the door fully on the past in order for you to be able to embrace and step into your future happily and sort of um, confidently as well. This, this is what I'm seeing coming in here, Capricorn. So I hope that made sense to some of you. Please let me know if it did. Um, oh, I've just remembered I forgot to pull a spirit card for Sagittarius and Scorpio. Oh, oh well. <laughs> um Right, I'm going to pull a one for you, though. So, oh, that one's just fell out. There you go, the flame of love here. And it's saying, allow the infinite power of love within you to radiate unconditionally in all directions, yet stand tall in your sense of self and in your own truth. The healing power of love will help you burn through all illusion and you will discover new possibilities. This is a powerful time of transformation, ideas and creativity. So like I say, this this is, you know, it's a very, very powerful time. When if we have a look at that, that person looks a bit like a tree. So this is where you can be grounded and where you feel like your roots are secure okay so i have an absolutely fabulous week capricorn month sorry capricorn if any of you do want a personal reading with me like i say the link is below um and i would love to connect with you okay so i'll see you back with the dailies sat now